See, I think we ended up with way too many narrators. But not to worry, because be the change you wish to see in the world is now under 140 characters. I mean, congratulations. Our generation was able to make revolution into a vintage plaid shirt stuffed in a trash bag. I mean, all we had to do was buy one from a thrift shop, give it a filter and a hashtag, and voila. I mean, we all wanted so badly for John Lennon to rise from the dead, just so we could endorse the circular frame glasses of the iPhone X. I mean, we all wanted to believe that he would launch his conscious folk duet project with Ono and not sell out, but then we act surprised when he gets a bunch of DUIs and releases a dance remix to Imagine featuring Dead Mouse. I mean, no disrespect. I just encourage you to look closer. You'd see that it's the same scenes in these broken projectors. It's the same textbooks in our history lectures. Our megaphones are starting to sound like broken records, useless chants by young pawns obsessed with being kings but never taught chess or checkers but just how to be these necrophiliac Hannibal lectors, raping the stories of our dead predecessors just to suck away a quote. You wonder why? The eagles and the falcons rarely leave the treetops. See, once upon a time, they came to show us how to spread our wings for freedom and look, we became a bunch of parrots and peacocks. Now. Some call me a little bit of a lazy pessimist, and to be honest, I have to agree. See, I used to be that kid waiting for someone to move me, but all I heard were these clowns yapping about some backwards movement blaring from my TV, so all these Bob Dylan and Bob Marley covers in cargo shorts, it was easier to be a hypocrite. We're clever enough now that we can flip history script to remind us how ignorance is still bliss could see at this point. We're educated enough to understand the dreams that Martin Luther King Jr. was dreaming. But whether it's gunshots or crack rocks or lack of imagination, kids these days are still hardly sleeping. And when they are, it's some drug-induced slumber. And at that point, all they really notice is colors. So how do you expect us to share a vision if our idea of change is a scenic picture with a quote? I mean, we were never taught compassion or sacrifice, but damn right, we know how to use mirrors and smoke. See, we recorded all the lives of our past leaders and mashed them all up at the special special features. Maybe Bob Marley and some dude with dread smoking a spliff on a t-shirt, whether it's Tupac or Gandhi or Renaissance statues, they just give us lines and we get tattooed see we're too busy. Playing suck and blow with their quotes and now we all got mono. We all bought the fancy shades and now we all think we're Bono, but really we're just addicted to any artificial sense of enlightenment. Forgetting that we're all just a bunch of western kids born with a sense of entitlement, but see I understand. It's not that simple. We were all born with a bark to spark inspiration, but we're human. Sometimes we end up boarding up our windows, and yeah, I'm a hypocrite too. See, I've been known to be that self-righteous dreamer eager to get his fight on, leaving his apartment for a $5 organic coffee while leaving my lights on. I've pointed out people who litter and criticize religion while praying for forgiveness for throwing my cigarette butts at pigeons. I think we have the right intentions. We're just getting a little restless. We're starting to forget that I was always more than Woodstock or Obama. Change is called change because it's a long-term investment. So all I'm saying is that if we're going to do this, pardon the cliche, but let's spread our wings and stop being these parents retweeting. And maybe when we open our history textbooks, we too said words and live stories worth quoting and reading.